This week's edition of Around the Town News is sponsored by Discount Fireworks. Get ready to blaze trails to the future at the 103rd Annual Oregon Trail Day Celebration from July 11th through July 14th. We sat down with one of the organizers to find out more about the upcoming events. We have this nice brochure that we had printed. Um, it's also on our website at www.oregontraildays.com. Also on our Facebook, we've been trying to list all the events. Um, our kickoff is Thursday night. It's a kickoff barbecue and concert hosted by Pot Valley Companies at the Plaza in Gearing. So that'll start everything off. And then also that night, we have the Vera Delaney Art Show at the Civic Center. And then the carnival will be starting Thursday night. We're so lucky to have Fraser Shows. They're an amazing carnival. They take great care of their rides um, and their games. And they are bringing a new ride this year. Um, so we're excited to see what that is. Mm -hmm. So they haven't announced it yet. They just told us it's a new ride. Um, and then there is a on our website, um, we link to their website too that says which night you can get the wristbands and the cost of everything. Early Friday morning, we have the Don Childs Memorial Run. We ask if you want to be in it to sign up by uh, June 30th, mainly so we can order the t-shirts. You can still sign up that day, you just might not get a t-shirt. And then the Old Settler Headquarters opens at 9 a.m. at the Civic Center. Uh, the Vera Delaney Art Show goes from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday. And then, of course, the Fun Kitty Parade starts at 10 a.m. Most people get there about 9 o'clock to start registering. Um, every participant gets a free ride from the carnival, a ticket for a free ride. And then after the Kitty Parade, we have the games in the parks. We have um, quite a few businesses that come to let the kids play games. And a couple of food vendors will be there also. Then at noon, we have the Old Settlers Luncheon at the Civic Center. That's where we celebrate our... Um, half century and the old settlers um, officers, people that have been here anywhere from 40 to 50 years at least. So we invite anybody that's been here that long to come to the old settlers meetings. And then the quilt show will be going on all through the weekend too. Um, that moved, it's at Gearing Middle School this year. Um, so go check out all the awesome quilts there. I believe they also raffle a quilt off too. And then at 1 o'clock is a street vault. It is listed as 2 o'clock in our brochure, but it is at 1 o'clock. Street vaults between Fresh Foods and Intertech parking lot in Gearing. Then um, Friday night, starting at 5, we have the food fair and the Rod and Custom Car Show. So everybody loves to come out there. And then after that, um, there's a free concert um, by the Gearing City Band at Legion Park starting at 730 and then um, all weekend we're going to have the safe ride Oregon Trail Days. So if you've been at any events or the bars and you need a ride home, please take advantage of that. Um, the numbers listed, the hotline's 308-633-6377 or any of the bars should have that too. So please take advantage of it. It's free for anyone to use. Um, on Saturday we start the day with the bicycle hill climb at 7 o'clock at the Scottsdale National Monument. And then the parade, the big parade lineup starts at 8 o'clock. If you're a float that wants to be judged, you go to Gearing High School. Um, if you have horses or anything, you go over by um, Ace Hardware and First National Bank. There's that little side street. Or if you're a cheerleader band um, or an old car, uh, you go by the park over there by Loaf and Jug. And um, if your car's 30 years or older, it does not have to be decorated. If it's not 30 years or older, it must be decorated to be in the parade. And this year we are allowing um, candy or business swag to be handed out. You cannot throw it from the float. The Sydney Ordinance Rejected Walk is close to the curb as possible to hand out those items. So we would like to invite everybody to do that again. So our theme this year is Trails to the Future. So we're excited to see what everybody decorates their floats as for that. Um, I know Aloe's been working on theirs already. <laughs> and then we're excited too, you know, we had a lot of people comment that they missed the candy being thrown out and stuff like that. And we understand it was just more of a safety issue because kids are running out in the street getting the candy. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So we just ask now, and I think, you know, with the holiday parades and everything, all of the businesses are used to walking alongside the curb, handing out the candy and swag. Um, so I think if everybody does that, it'll be just fine and we'll continue to do it. And then the chili cook-off registration begins at 8 o'clock. That's over at Five Rocks Amphitheater in Kahuna Park. Uh, Mud Volleyball also will start at 8 a.m. Over at Five Rocks Amphitheater, it would be on the west side of the carnival. 
And the old settler meetings continue. The art show will still be going on. And then our craft fair, we already have over 120 vendors for the craft show. And that's over at Legion Park in Gearing. That goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then the main parade starts at 10 o'clock. Have the old settlers luncheon at noon. Quilt shows still be going on. And then the big horseshoe tournaments at Oregon Trail Park. Um, you can call Tim Shasky. His number's online or in the brochure to sign up for that. And then also Cornhole, this is the second year we've been doing Cornhole, um, and that's online to register for that also. And then the Chili Cook-Off will begin at noon over at Kahuna Park. And then also Safe Ride still going on, so take advantage of that. And then on Sunday we have a new um, event this year, we're trying Pickleball, it's been so popular. Um, so we're going to have a Pickleball tournament. So we're excited to have Pickleball, I mean, it's amazing how um, busy the Pickleball courts are. Um, every day every night they're just busy and I know there was a pickleball tournament not too long ago and it was very successful so then I reached out to the person that did that and asked if they wanted to do one for Oregon Trail Days and he was excited to um, it'll be a fundraiser for the Green basketball team um, so we're excited to see how that goes and then hope to have it as a continuing event with Oregon Trail Days every year the quilt show still be going on and then seven o'clock Sunday nights the gospel jubilee we listed it at Legion Park, but they have now changed it. It's going to be at Gearing Zion Church. Okay. And we also want to thank the city of Gearing and all the employees there. They do so much um, from way before Oregon Trail Days even starts to start preparing, um, you know, blocking off streets, different things like that, getting everything organized. And they all work super long hours during Oregon Trail Days, and we appreciate everything the city does for us. For more information, including information about the carnival, visit OregonTrailDays.com. Be sure to check out the community calendar and more stories from around the area on our website at www.AroundTheTownNews.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching Around the Town News.